Hey guys, it's JJ from Team T4D here. We're just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use custom commands in your Discord. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start with uh, the MME6 bot. What you want to do is you want to use this link here. I'm going to put it down below in the description. You want to load this up in Google and then add to Discord. Now I've obviously got two, but this one here is just my example one for you guys this evening. We're going to go ahead and link this one. Now straight away it gives us all these absolutely brilliant extensions that we can use for your Discord. I'm going to go a bit more into depth in most of these ones later on. But for today we're just going to focus on the custom commands and we'll also have a look at the timers as well for you guys. Alright, so I, get, I created one here but we're going to go ahead and delete that and uh, we'll start fresh. Right guys, what you want to do is you want to go to the add button right here and add yourself your fresh command. Uh, PSN is always a useful one. We use it mostly on uh, on Twitch, or I do anyway. There we go, we'll just throw a quick command in there. I like to always change mine just so that I can always keep a track of where they all are. So I'll just say that's PSN command. Now this is for your allowed roles. Uh, if you're new to Discord, this is a feature which I'll go into as well with a bit more depth. You can create different roles within your Discord, but really for these type of commands, you want it just set to the standard everyone. You can add a banned channel, for instance, if you've got multiple channels and you don't want these commands to be used in certain ones, you can add those channels to there. But half of the time, it's just more convenient to keep it open. Go ahead and hit the save button. Now that instantly jumps across, and uh, if we go to the discard here. There we go, that is our first command set up straight away. Now you can do this with as many commands as you want. All you have to do is just keep, like I say, doing the add button. And you can add as many in as you fancy. Uh, when you want to go back from this menu, now you go to plugins. And this brings you back to the main menu. And we'll have a little look at timers. Now timers again, I already created one, but we'll uh, we'll do that again. You go to add timer. And you can use this to uh, wherever you want, wherever you're, uh, you're wanting to use it for. I'll just put a little command in here. A little morning, everyone. Uh, you can select the channel which you wish for it to go in, but I'm going to go for general. Just so that everybody sees it every morning. Now, a good thing about these commands is you can also use the uh, times uh, to choose which time is the day, be it 12 hours, 24 hours, or whatever else you want to use it for. So I'll go for 12 hours. But you can also choose which days you want it to run in your Discord as well, which is also a, a nice, cool little feature. So I'll go ahead and create that one. This one won't show up right now, it will show up every 12 hours, so in the morning it will jump up and say good morning to all your uh, Discord users. Now these are the quick ones, the MME, MME6 bot is uh, the most convenient way I've found to be able to put your own custom commands in as well as timed. Uh, as well as that, like I say, it does have a load more features which we've got, we will go into in more videos later on. But if this video helps you out, please hit the like button and the follow button. Uh, so Sorry, subscribe on YouTube. And uh, let me know what you think, guys. Let me know if there's any other videos or any other requests you wish help with. And have a great day.